you ever wondered this is the reality of the glamour of <laughs> going out with a vocal photographer sitting in the car full of gear two backdrops in between us for my laser hair removal. I haven't had it done in like a year um, and I need to top up badly and I've decided to go get my ears pierced. <laughs> I have one low piercing and I have some other piercings but I never got a second low piercing and I've wanted them for ages so I was like, yeah, yeah no, let's do it. Right, so. Right, so. Okay, we're done. That was actually so painless. Yay, I'm delighted I have them done now. Do you know what? I, um, I said to the piercer, I was like, I got my ears pierced when I was like 11 with the gun. And I remember they did the gun on me first and on one ear and I was like refusing to let them do the second ear because it was like, I think literally traumatic. Like, tell me you're in therapy without telling me you're in therapy. But like, I just remember being like, oh my God, I could fucking die. That was so bad. Um, but that was completely grand. Absolutely no pain whatsoever. Um, just a sting, so never vlog a piece in fucking Dublin. So I have like half an hour to kill until my laser. It's annoying, it's not even a laser appointment, it's actually just a patch test. But I can see this shop here that I love to go in. They have really nice incense and they sell ASOP stuff, so I'm gonna go in. I'll show you the um, incense I got for any incense lovers out there. Let me try to get it out of my bag. This shit. I've only ever seen it for sale in Indigo and Puff, that shop I was in. Um, and I get the amber and moss smell. Oh, it's amazing. I, I tried to get into it with the guys there. I tried to get into like a discussion all about um, incense and like conspiracy that the statue stuff was like not as good as it used to be and they were like <laughs> but one guy was into it 
and he was like, oh my god, have you ever burned the cones? And we started talking about Sage and Palo Santo and all that kind of shit. So, and the worst thing about this fucking appointment is A, obviously that's something you patched us because I haven't had it in a year, and B, I have so much work to do. <laughs> if you ever want a really nice perfume, this shop, Perfumeria, that is the fucking best perfume shop in Ireland. Okay, we made it. A quick hour in town, nice and productive. Delighted with myself. <laughs> I actually had to pop into cons because I had to get like a battery for my camera. A dummy battery, which basically means it can like, doesn't matter. But it's for my live stream tomorrow, or Thursday, because I'm doing my first Red Room live stream. I'm going to try to do them once a month minimum. I'm going to just see how it goes because obviously I'm doing it by myself. I have to, I have a lot to do today. I've got two podcasts to record. So I'm doing my own podcast uh, for Red Room, obviously. And then we're doing... Um, our next episode of the docket for adam's patreon so if you don't know you might not be signed up um within our own patreons adam from wine poppers and myself we do um a, like an additional show called the docket and it's where we both kind of guest host on each other's patreons once a month and it's just kind of a place where like we can talk about kind of whatever we want but also if we want to do current affairs or if we want to do some pop culture or if we want to do some like cultural commentary kind of shit that's where we're gonna do it when i started this uh solo pod i always like talked to adam because i was like oh my god you're so good at it you're so great at like telling a story by yourself and he was like oh it's hard that the struggle is real and now i really get a struggle so it's a nice place for us to both to have like someone to bounce off um once a month because i as i said i've said it before like i do know that solo podcasts are like a different vibe to than a two person and i try and get guests on as many guests like can as possible but obviously the nature of my show is like every second week or so it's probably going to be me solo and i'm getting better at the solo podcast i do think so and i'm only going to get better by doing them but i do know that people do love that like two person um back and forth especially to people who know each other and have a rapport so that's why we started that show and we're going to record his episode today my episode will record later this week and I'll put it up next week. But um, obviously we have one a month on minimum on mine and one a month on his. But if you want both, you sign up for both of our Patreons. His podcast is also like one of the only, probably actually is the only Irish podcast that I listen to. Similar kind of, oh, similar kind of vein as mine. He talks obviously about mind poppers, which are like things that blow your mind. Um, he's so fucking funny, so charismatic. I'm signed up to his Patreon. He and I happily swap same five we're back and forth each month to each other's patreons um but yeah you should listen to this podcast it's on spotify and stuff if you like mine or if you just like conspiracy or so just weird shit if you have weird interests like me and adam go listen to his podcast listen to mine as well but listen to his too hey Elle. you were getting so many compliments in the vlog last week <laughs> you're getting so many compliments that you're so pretty so, I'm at home, I'm roasting, and we have to record a podcast, so I'm going to try to get it done ASAP, L. ASAP. ASAP. Okay. I recorded the episode there, I actually really liked that episode. Um, obviously, I, I mentioned in the pod, but like last week's, oh, that was doing a big stretch. Last week's episode was quite like intense, like it was, it was more serious, um, which I really like, but I also think it's good to get a bit of relief in there, you know? Um, so this week I kind of did a bit of, I mean, they're not light topics, but a bit more lighthearted in nature and, you know, we're not kind of delving as deep into things. I have to stop myself from doing that sometimes because I can, I have the habit of wanting to go all the way down, but sometimes an overview is okay. <laughs> so this week I spoke about this really cool Reddit thread that my brother showed me, um, allegedly from a time traveler. It was an ask me anything. So we would talk about that. I talked about Skinwalker Ranch, um, which if you know, you know. And from there we talked about werewolves, shapeshifters and a bit of mythology. So I kind of brought in like where um, gods and goddesses in ancient Greek mythology were known to shapeshift, why they shapeshifted, how that also were finding parallel parallels in different um, mythologies around shapeshifting and you know a bit of a having a bit of a philosophical talk about shapeshifting and what that was used to teach people. You can get it on patreon.com forward slash red room pod. Good morning I'm all dolled up 
I'm in Clare Hall Shopping Centre because my fucking license is out of date. Yes, I drove here. Um, and I have to go get it renewed. So, let's go. Dog <laughs> oh my god, too much makeup on. Um, my license is expired. I'm, I'm replacing a lot of them as well as being expired. But she was like, oh my god, it's not expired because of all the um, extensions. She's like, oh, it's not expired for another like three weeks. Hang on, I need to get into my car. Yeah, she was like, oh, it's not expired for three weeks. So if you got it done now, you'd only get another like month or something out of your license. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to come back in three weeks and renew it then, which is fine. Because I mean, she was like, "There's no point in you paying like 35 euro for like a license that you're gonna." You're gonna but anyway, anyway, it was a fail. Um, but yeah, about to go back home. Hopefully, there's no guard. Don't report me to the guards. Picked up some breakfast sandwiches from Pogue. They're so fucking good. I'm absolutely starving. I got some packages and they're actually from two brands that I originally was sent like PR from. Um, hold on, I think that's my robo back coming. Anyway, um, yeah, so these two brands initially sent me out stuff for free and they're actually brands that I buy from instead of being like, oh, I continuously get sent stuff. Like these are just brands that like I went from being on their PR to buying from. Um, and I'm happy to buy, I don't really care about pure, like it's nice when I get stuff and you know, these two companies I would always accept stuff off. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't need the freebies. So I thought I'd show you what I got. So the first, it looks big. First package is from a company called Riley. Oh, here we go. This looks so like YouTube, like open my Riley box at me. Um, so Riley are an Irish brand. Um, they're owned by like I think three sisters from Cork, as far as I remember. And they reached out to me ages ago, asking me would I like one of their. They do period subscription boxes, and I was like, yeah, cool. And like to be honest, like I know a lot of people are into subscription boxes. I'm not really. Um, so but I took them, I posted it and everything. Never really thought of it again. And then do you know what? This month when I got my period, I was like, I never have fucking shit i never have it i never have it in the house i'm always caught short so i was like maybe they were onto something maybe the, these girls are onto something and i signed up um so this is huge obviously i got the quarter hang on i need i need something to open this up with i got um i got the quarterly box because um uh, i don't know I just thought it was easier instead of getting it every single month so there's loads of shit in here <laughs> i mean am i gonna show this on camera i mean why not i guess like look at that you get, you can choose between like a combo between pads and tampons and mix of strength. I just chose mix. Um, so yeah, that's great. That's me sorted now. Um, and they say here, the average woman uses 11,000 non-recyclable tampons in her lifetime, equal to five and a half thousand plastic bags. Thank you for being part of the change. That's another thing. Their sanitary um, products are like recyclable. They're not bleached. They're organic cotton, as far as I'm aware, um, which is something I've always used, but like you should try to do that. And you can get like tampons with applicators and stuff like that. I still haven't made the switch over to like a moon cup. I just don't really know if I ever will. Um, I'm always tempted to, but like, do you know what it is? It's like, just the thought of learning something new when I've been doing it this long, I'm like, whatever. Second uh, company, another ore, another pink ore, uh, is Reverie. This is an Irish vintage clothing company and they do, the, they kind of specialize in like more curated vintage. Like it's owned by the same um, people as Nine Crow Street, but this is more um, curated. So uh, more expensive, but more like, you don't have to be rummaging online as well. You know, it's like very bespoke pieces. Their stuff always sells out really quick. And I got this really cool shirt. It's always comes really nicely packaged as well. So this is like their nice little card. So I got this like Ralph Lauren 
Really cute, I love that. Now, does it look like a dad shirt here? Absolutely, would my dad wear this? 100%, like to work, he would love this. However, I'm seeing it more like, let me try it on and I'll show you. Okay, are we seeing this? See how it's just kind of more like, like I have, um, I have bicycle shorts on here. Okay, so do we see this? This kind of moment, this woman looking at me in her car. Like kind of off the shoulder, like with bike shorts. Oh my God, it's actually too hot for me to wear that t-shirt. Do you like this top? This is one of my favorite tops I got. It's from Urban Outfitters. Oh, look at that shoulder action. That's from boxing. Oh, today is not my day. YouTube won't let me go live. Mm, I'm literally fucking actually fuming. I requested um, verification to verify your account to go live. Did it like days ago. Still hasn't gone. I ended up getting like putting through like a ticket or whatever. And I don't know. Apparently it's going to be fixed by tomorrow. So I had to move my live stream, which I'm, uh, I just hate doing shit like that. I hate like announcing stuff and then having to be like, actually, it's tomorrow. Wrecks my head. Um, so yeah, today, you know, this evening's kind of open, so I think I'm going to head to an exhibition, um, with Evan instead, but I really wanted to go live, like, I have everything, it's all set up, but we'll do it tomorrow instead, which is grand, hopefully more, hopefully people can come still on a Friday, but like, whatever, it doesn't really matter, as I said, if even if there's 15 people on this stream, I'm doing it, um, but yeah, so, Onwards and upwards. Okay, so, as I said, I'm going into town to go to an exhibition, an opening. Um, Macer, as I'm sure a lot of you know, is an Irish artist and he has a new show opening in Gormley. So Evan and I are gonna go to that and get some food beforehand. Today's pissing me off the whole day. YouTube put me in a bad mood. I'm also realized that like, I feel very, not bloated, like I feel like um, puffy. So I'm gonna like try and massage my face a bit. Um, that's just some um, face oil. I got it in like TK Maxx, it's like vitamin E face oil. So I have some gripes, okay? Number one, after YouTube did that, I then was like, I'm meant to be getting a package from and other stories. And I'm gonna do my job. I was like, I'm meant to be getting a package from Andrew Their Stories. And I tried to track it and it said delivered on Monday. And I'm like, now my delivery guy came on Monday and um, he left stuff in the gate. And then someone, my neighbor must have taken it in and they dropped it up to my door, like without me being here. Um, and there was just two packages, one for Evan, one for me. And I'm like, where did the other one go? Cause that one was worth the most amount of money. <laughs> Um, so that's annoying me. Second thing that's annoying me is I, I'm going to a wedding in, on the 22nd of September and I ordered a dress for it. And like, I've never really ordered, um, does my jaw look a bit better now? Like I, I'm kind of insecure about having a double chin. I ordered this dress and then I got an email today being like, it's delayed basically. And I'm like, for fuck's sake. And uh, so I don't think, it, I definitely don't think it's gonna be here on time for the 22nd. So I had to order another outfit. I went on Zara and I ordered something there and it should be fine. Um, not as nice as the original dress I've ordered, but now I'm like, I'm gonna have this other dress. I think I'm also gonna have to pay import duties on said dress and I'll have nowhere to wear it. <sighs> it's just, it's just annoying. I don't even know if this is, uh, if this works. I've seen other people do it. I don't do it often and like, and, uh, what's the word like habitually enough for it to I think make a difference but you know what fuck it we move I would love to though because I would love a more I know my jawline kind of looks a little bit defined there but it's really not like I I, I was going through like this b-roll footage that I took through the day of me working on my computer and I was like I fully have a double chin this is the drain I'm not doing like if you drain it down your neck I learned that on TikTok you can actually feel it okay this is the NARS um, tint moisturizer. Anyway, I thought I'd do like a little get ready with me. Um, just for lols, I never really do these on Instagram or anything and people ask me, so 
it's a bit easier for me to do on YouTube, I feel. I don't really like to, I, I, it's not a tutorial though, like I can't like talk you through what I do because, I mean, you can just watch and see how I do it. This is like quite dark, this bronzer, so I only use a tiny bit. I've gotten into nose contouring recently though. Do I have a big nose? Like I never used to think I had a big nose, but my haters say otherwise. And I'm like, I'm honestly shook. I'm like having a bit of an identity crisis. Like, you know, when your body dysmorphia goes both ways, like on one hand, your body dysmorphia tells you that like, you're like disgusting. But then on the other hand, my body dysmorphia always used to be like, but I have a really nice nose. And now I'm like, have I been deluded all along? <laughs> so I do my nose contour with like a little eyeshadow brush. So this is why I keep doing this nose contour now on the bottom because like, I think my nose is like really long. <laughs> New insecurity in your thirties. Now there's a rarity. I also need to shut up because like I've spent so many years online talking about how I think that like larger noses are beautiful and I actually do. It's just more so like, oh, it's more the shock of being like, oh, I didn't have what I thought I had. Like I thought I had a little button nose, but like I definitely don't. Okay, now I'm gonna do this So Su blush. This is all pretty much the stuff that I, uh, that I said I used in my other vlog. This is actually a really nice highlighter. It's a Bobbi Brown one that I got gifted fucking ages ago. You can kind of use it with your finger. So let's do a little bit. I have more highlighter in a long ass time. So I also like to highlight in here. Can you see this? See the difference? So I pat it all up here. And bring it like where I kind of put that um kind of over the bronzer, which seems like it would cancel it out, but it just kind of opens up your eye, I think. I'm so embarrassed. This embarrassment has been eating me alive. This embarrassment, guys, on my vlog, I always thought this was called Reefy. Reefy. And then I saw a load of Irish influencers get gifted and they're like, Refi, Refi. And I was like, <laughs> duh, it is called Refi. Like, Reefy. I refeed the brows off myself. Like, no, it's called Refi, which sounds way nicer. So, okay, let's get close, yeah, here we go. And this is when you kind of get, you're like, oh no. Like you don't want to use too much of this shit as well though, by the way. And then you close it and then pull it up and there's this little brush here. And this brush is what gives you the good brows. So you just brush it through. Now I know a lot of people don't like the laminated look. I don't do the full laminated look. I just, I kind of go up and then down. Okay, the fake freckles still have me in like a chokehold. So I use this Lottie London stuff. Okay, so I just like scatter these all over. Okay, and that looks really weird. <laughs> so just kind of let that semi dry in and then just start to, like just dab, 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 dab. I'm just gonna do like a uh, kind of eyeliner-y kind of thing, just like pencil eyeliner. This is my fave, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal. I love the brown one, Barbarella Brown. The black one's fab as well though, to be honest. So this is what I do, okay? We line the waterline. I like to go all the way in and then I go up here as well. Just bring that out. And then I just smudge. Just like a little corner like that. Smudge your in, in and out, why not? Just like get it like kinda. Okay, now a bit of mascara. My Glossier mascara, which I used to talk so much trash on, now I love it. Now I do a little bit of lip liner. Uh, so this is Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I like it a little smudge, and then I kinda go back over just my cupid's bow. Okay. 
I think about this lip liner is it doesn't really it doesn't layer very well because it's like that kind of real waxy kind of lip liner. That's my makeup done. I'll show you my outfit and then we're gonna go. I made it. Mm, that's so annoying and loud. Made it. I had a crisis about my hair, so I straightened it very bold. Haven't done that in a fucking long old time. Um, but I'm starving because I've literally forgotten to eat all day, so I'm dying to finish and get some food. <laughs> But here is the reality of behind the scenes of a live stream. Now it'll be set up way more professionally later on, but I had to like do a run through to make sure I could still remember how to, how to fucking set it up. But excited, we're able to go live. I'm dying, dying for it now. We're going out to get some food before the live stream. We thought no cooking when we're streaming. Ev is once again storming off. Scarlet to be around me. Ev, do you want to be on the vlog? <laughs> We're gonna go to uh, Cape Greco. It's like nice Greek food in Malahide and then back to stream. It's Evan's just done 23 days in a row, so a little bottle of champers. Cheers. Congrats on being such a workhorse, double Capricorn vibes. <laughs> we always get the same thing here. It's like a sharing platter, pita, hummus, it's like vine leaves, um, meatballs, halloumi, calamari. Greek salad, so nice. This is the other thing I always get from here. It's the uh, seafood, flocky, Greek salad, potatoes. I bought lamb and seafood. Hey Honestly, all I get from the end of the live stream is this. This is the carnage. This is actually a tidied up carnage. All these cables. Fuck. Takes a lot. That's the end of the vlog. Um... Sorry I didn't get much of the live stream, but you can go watch it on Patreon. Um, it's all up there. There's two hours of a live stream of me and Evan talking absolute shite. Um, but thanks so much for watching and loving the vlogs. I'm going to keep them going as long as I can. I'll be back next week. Bye.